Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. Back with uh, Matt, the mortgage guy. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing great, Mike. How you doing? I'm doing well. So uh, obviously, you've seen by now in 9.1% CPI, way above expectations, even above what I expected. I don't know what's going on in the mortgage world, but I looked at the 10-year. It spiked up, and now it's down. So how the hell can the 10-year be down? I'm guessing mortgage rates might be down, even though we got 9.1% inflation. What's going on? Yeah, when 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 we look at you know the way mortgage backed securities are trading, like we're slightly better right now, and it doesn't make any sense because when I woke up before I even looked at inflation numbers, I always you know get alerts on my phone sure. um, about mortgage rates, and we started the day off fifty basis points worse, which I already knew before I looked at CPI data. Yeah, that CPI is hot. <laughs> that means it's that means it comes in hot, you know, and you know from a layman's perspective, if if that comes in hot. The expectation is, okay, the Fed's going to have to ramp up their tightening, which yeah. is going to be bad for rates. So it all made sense until I did a few things and looked back. And now all of a sudden, we're up 11 basis points on the day from negative 50 to, to plus 11. Um, and again, you know, so people know plus 11 mean rate, meaning you, the buyer, rates are better. Right, right. And 11 basis points is not, not much, but a huge still deal. Better. You know? <laughs> on, on a $500,000 deal, it's, it's, it's $500 in cost better for you, for you, the borrower. And, uh, but that's know. that I, you would have put a gun to my head. That's not what I would have guessed after getting a shocking nine, one CPI that my, my conversation with you at 10 o'clock would be, Hey, Michael, you know what? Mortgage rates got better today. <laughs> right. I would not have guessed that I'd, right. I'd have lost that bet. Yeah. Because I think they opened since opening. I think there's been multiple lenders, you know, as a broker, I've got alerts going off from multiple different lenders reprice for the better reprice for the better to be honest mike it doesn't make any sense yeah so let's just play this out just two guys guessing our our crystal ball is broken as anyone else i mean this has to be smart money which i call the bond market smart money telling us that a recession is going to be coming sooner than the fed expects and they're going to have to retreat this is not telling anything about next week. I think everybody agrees the Fed's going 75 next week, which will, which will take us to two and a quarter on the Fed funds. I think most people are willing to believe we get at least a half, if not a three quarter in September. This, I don't, to me, this is the bond market saying the Fed's going to pivot this year, which I don't see. Yeah. I mean, which is interesting, right? I mean, you talked about like, hey, this stuff doesn't play out within a few months. It might take nine, 12, 18. Yeah. And then all of a sudden it's like, well, could it, <laughs> could it happen, you know, uh, where, where we get real tight, real fast and then, and then change course. I saw something this morning, Mike, that I don't know if this stat is true, but 40% of analysts think we might get a hundred basis points. No, it, it um, actually, as of this morning, uh, after the nine one, I looked, I looked like an hour after the release. So probably like six forty five. when I saw it, it was 30%. It, it would not shock me if it's gone up since there to the 40% odds. Yeah. We'll have to make another video on predictions and see. Yeah. Well, uh, we will certainly do that. Uh, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it's, well, let's just talk about it right now. What I'm calling for, I call today on the daily financial news. Again, I'll always say this. I think they should do a hundred. I frankly think they should do a hundred today. They're going to do 75 next week. And I think they'll do 75, which again, gets us to the fed funds rate of 3% in September. And we got two meetings left. Right. I mean, could we see three and a half? Absolutely. By the end of the year. That's, that's crazy. What do you think happens next week and then in September? Um, I, I think, I think that they do 75 next week. I think a mm -hmm. hundred is, you know, a little bit it's, yeah. more aggressive than, than you expect. Yeah. This, <laughs> Powell, this, this, Powell doesn't this have that. Do. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't got that in him. You no, know, he maybe he, he should like, like in past meetings, we're like, Hey, what he should do. And, and, and yeah. you know, some of, some of the tough talk usually uh, his uh, bark is, is louder than his bite. So, so 75 is going to be my prediction. Um, and uh, it'll be interesting to see, because even between now and then what, what gets talked about, especially out of the Fed's mouth, is what's going to affect mortgage yeah. rates, right? Well, you like know, you know the what number. they're going to, you know what they're going to say. They're going to say peak inflation is here. That's going to be the talk track for the next thirty days. Peak inflation, peak inflation. Maybe you want to? Didn't you say that last month? And didn't you say that the month before? <laughs> I mean, what, when is it? Shame eventually, they're going to be right, Mike. <laughs> eventually, yeah. Same with broken clocks. They're eventually right twice a day. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's interesting. But again, I would. I don't understand. I honestly don't understand how, how mortgage rates got better today 
with that CPI print. It doesn't yeah, which, which sometimes, you know, it takes a little bit of sinking in. It takes um, the market saying, let's see how, how folks react to this. Let's, let's see what, what yeah. comes um, out of, you know, the, the Fed camp and, and their talk track, whatnot, before it actually starts affecting mortgage rates. So um, I think that the next couple of weeks are going to be relatively volatile. And like this whole year has been, it's just a reminder that, you know, we can go from 50 basis points down to 15 basis points up. And, and we're going to have these swings where more than ever, um, I've been like it, lock it for probably yeah. nine months. Yeah, and I think so. I'm seeing it now where I, I talked to a group of loan originators. They said, listen, like, I don't even wait to get my client on the phone. When the deal gets submitted, it gets locked. And then I show them the rate sheet. You can move up and down this rate sheet, but you're locked at this rate sheet because between 8.30, 8 a.m. And, and noon, if we don't talk, you might lose 40 basis points, which is $2,000 on a $500,000 loan. Yeah. I don't, I don't want the consumer to have to eat that. And so um, it's, it's a reminder that we're, we're not in a year where we're floating loans is a really good idea. No. Yeah. So again, I think, I think, the advice you've bringing us for nine months, if you like it, lock, it's never been truer. Again, I have no idea how CPI is at nine one and rates got better today. Uh, it's, it's again, this is why it's the world is interesting. Lots of complex cross currents. This could also be just a lot of, again, this could be, you know, lots of, again, smart money going, the only safe place is bonds. So they are just buying bonds. And if you buy bonds, um, you know, I, I don't know. It's just, it's just weird. I just, I would not have, I would not have guessed our conversation at 10 o'clock Pacific on this Wednesday would have been Mike r- rates got better. It's right. Just didn't make sense. And usually when it opens bad like that, it's just, you know, it's like, Oh crap, we're down 50. Let's lock before we get down 95. Right. And we've seen plenty of hundred base points, you know, Days. to the negative. Yeah. Um, and so that's what I expected to this, this turnaround is, is definitely a head scratcher. There you go. Well, let's, <laughs> let's hope it, let's hope it continues, right? Better mortgage rates are better. I actually saw mortgage rates were down about half a point kind of from the peak uh, to where they were now. So again, if you like it, lock it. Uh, any closing thoughts or where do you want people to reach out if they want to see what they get done today? Go to greatmortgagebroker.com. Get yourself pre-approved if you're in a position to do so and want to. Um, more than ever, I think uh, folks need the education. They need to figure out exactly what they qualify for. Interesting thing is happening, Mike, is There's a bunch of people that are really concerned about what the market's going to do, whether it's going to go up, down, sideways, and timing the market, not looking at their own personal finances. Yeah. If you're ready, that's step one to find out if you're personally ready, your finances, you know, your budget and all that other stuff. People will talk about timing the market and what rates are going to do and what price they're going to do. And they've got all the strategy. They're not even ready personally. They don't qualify. It doesn't. Why bother? (laughs) Save the time, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, and and get your personal stuff in line. If it is, then you make the decision. Do I want to buy this month or next month or wait six months? That's all fine. But get yourself lined up first. Make sure that you qualify. The only way to do that is talk to a mortgage professional. If it's us, greatmortgagebroker.com. We're going to reach out to you within a few hours. If it's somebody else, great. But just make sure you do it. Do not talk yeah. to somebody who's going to give you an answer in two and a half minutes. That's not a proper pre-approval. It doesn't do you any good. Uh, I talk to people every day. That's another frustration where um, so-and-so told me this, that, and the other. Then you dig in a little bit. I didn't provide tax returns. They didn't pull my credit. They know nothing about me, but they said I'd probably qualify for this much. Yeah. Probably's don't work. Probably's don't work. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Again, greatmortgagebroker.com. Reach out, see what's going on. Uh, Thank you very much. Thanks, Mike. Mm -hmm.